What's up everybody, it's Sergeant M. Um, about a month or so ago, I had an issue with, uh, with my Velocity airbrush. Um, when I pressed down on the trigger uh, for air, uh, nothing came out. So I uh, sent Ken uh, an email and said, hey, uh, you know, I'm having an issue. Uh, can I get a new part? Be greatly appreciated. Ken said, yeah, sure. Um, you know, to let him know that uh, my schedule for weekends was booked. We had some cheerleading competitions. Um, last weekend, my, uh, my niece was born, so we went down to Pittsburgh to see her. And uh, I got an email from Ken, and uh, he said that the part had shipped out, so got it back in the mail. And I noticed the box that he shipped it in, uh, when I picked it up, it was a little heavy. Thinking this can't just be an air valve for my for my velocity. There's there's no way. I mean, this thing weighs less than a quarter. So uh, I opened up the box, and inside was a little surprise. Something I never would have expected. Never would have asked for. A brand new Chrome. So I've had it out over the last few days. <clears throat> it's been uh, it's been a crazy week at work. Um, but I've had it out over the last few days, just kind of playing with it. I haven't had a, a chance to uh, shoot any paint through it yet. Um, but I did want to check it out and, you know, get a feel for it. So, uh, what else is what else is in here? Um, Ken sent some accessories. We sent a uh, extra needle, an extra nozzle, <clears throat> and I've already swapped it out. Uh, the the uh, regular tip. Uh, but Ken had also sent the, uh, the paint picker's tip. Which I'll bring that closer into the camera so you guys can see. There we go. The regular tip has some little prongs on the end of it. So he also sent the, uh, the paint picker tip with it as well. So here's my first reaction um, to the airbrush. Uh, when I first pick it up, it 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 feels great in my hand. It's very comfortable, similar to the uh, similar to the uh, Renegade Velocity, the regular Velocity. Um, it's very well balanced in my hand. Uh, you know, from front to back, uh, the pull on the trigger feels very very smooth so I do like the gunmetal uh, finish on the uh, on the velocity but uh, you know who doesn't love shiny things that chrome just looks uh, spectacular so let's go ahead and I will do a uh, quick breakdown of the airbrush quick reassembly and then we will turn around and uh, and I will uh, Put some paint in this thing and spray some lines and some dots and we'll see how it performs. So set these accessories back in the uh, box. Oh, one other accessory that he did send is, is the um, uh, quick disconnect adapter. This ad uh, adapts from an uh, eighth inch uh, Badger connection to a uh, quarter inch uh, standard air hose connection. So we'll break it down. Breaks down just like the Velocity does. Take the back handle off. Pull the needle out. There, as you can see, no paint in it yet. And <laughs> this is the worst part. These these nozzles are so small. Look at how small that nozzle is. Yeah, you think it's going to be easy to lose that? Yeah, I think so. And uh, there we go. That's really it for the breakdown. I mean, I guess we could take the internals out, but uh, don't really need to. So we will put it back together. And then my favorite part, we will shoot some paint. It helps if your uh, 
need a locking nut is loose a little bit. There we go. Fully seated. Put the handle back on. And we are ready to go. Alright, so here we go. All set up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Have a uh, just a white paper towel. Why? Well, it's just a test video. Doesn't need to be anything spectacular. What's in the brush? Um, wicked uh, detail black with uh, a few drops of reducer. So we're at a, like a um, I don't know one to one maybe uh, reducer to um, paint. And we'll spray some lines and we'll spray some dots and that'll be about it I think. Very, very nice. Very smooth. One thing I should mention with this paint picker tip, if you couldn't tell before, and I don't know if I can get it in focus or not, one thing I didn't mention before <clears throat> is that your needle is exposed. So be very careful. If you're getting in close like this, be very, very careful. Um, this has a 0.21 millimeter tip on it, so it's an ultra fine tip and needle. And you will bend these very, very easily, very, very quickly. Yeah, I have a replacement, but what if I didn't? I'm waiting a few days when I order one, waiting for a few days for shipping. That triggers very smooth. The paint's flowing nicely. Air pressure, I'm at about uh, 40 PSI. Let me get you guys off the tripod and go handheld so you can see these results sort of up close. Okay, so there we go. There is the uh, lines and the dots. I don't know how much closer I can get you guys in there because my camera does have a one foot minimal focus length. But uh, zoom me out to 55 millimeters here. See that little tiny dot right there? See how fine those lines are right there? Put my finger in there as a, as a size reference. So yeah, uh, overall first impressions of this uh, airbrush, it is outstanding. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting some time with this, uh, spraying some projects. I actually have an Xbox that I'm working on. I have one side done so far. This is uh, based with uh, Wicked Jet Black. And if you saw Tony D's uh, or Commando's um, 
lava effect on X on the on his Xbox that he did. Uh, I'm sort of mimicking that. It's not exact. And what you can't see in this video, I don't know, maybe you can if the light hits it right. I don't think you can. But uh, what you can't see is there is some uh, some gem shift uh, ruby over top of all that. So that's actually going to shift from a... Uh, what is the ruby shift from? From a uh, kind of an orangish, yellowish orange to... Uh, to a deep, deep ruby. Ruby. Um, so I'm looking forward to uh, using this chrome on the other side. It's underneath all those stencils on the other side of this Xbox and also on the uh, the front panel. So there is the chrome from Badger Airbrush. Velocity Chrome. Thank you very much, Ken from Badger Airbrush Company. I very much appreciate this uh, airbrush. Uh, huge surprise. And never, never in a million years would have expected that. But uh, I like surprises. So, and there's the lines and dots once again. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time. Take care.